Uh, how we looking? Yeah, it's not good. That is not good. Welcome back to another episode of Roots Unearthed. We crashed our drone. You crashed I crashed drone. Our, our drone. <laughs> but we have windows. We have half of our electric done. Yeah, and our plumbing. Yep, plumbing is, is all roughed in. Um, and I think this week we're going to have doors and... HVAC started. HVAC. And maybe mm -hmm. even a roof. We'll see. Yeah. But Come on in, let's uh, show you what we did, or what's been done. It rained today, as you can see with Penny drinking that puddle. So you wanna Vanna white these windows? Hmm? Wanna do like the Vanna white? Of the windows? Yeah. Ah! So here's our windows, so I step on this. All right. You want to open it? Oh, oh, they open so nicely. So we opted for a four pane uh, window here and they are not double hung, meaning only the bottom open um, and pop out. So the top is fixed in. So it was an upgrade to do a double hung, but we didn't really think we needed that. Let's go inside. But look at this. We have the beginning of electric. Turn on the lights. They don't work. <laughs> so there's a few things that I noticed that we'll have to have them fixed still. It's not done, as you can tell. We did some changes where this should actually be a two gang, but. That's not the big deal here. Penny can no longer jump out the dining room window. Mm -hmm. Right, Pen? There's glass there now. Yeah. Now these windows, it just adds so much. Um, it just makes it feel a lot more like it's finished, you know? And the triple window is finally in place. We've been wondering what that was going to look like mm -hmm. um, this whole time. And, you know, I think it looks pretty good just with the cabinet there. And we're going to have uh, a brick backsplash. That's the plan. It may change <laughs> by the time we do it. But no. for now, that is the plan. We have our can lights in place. You can see the one over the sink. Then one, two, three, and four for the uh, kitchen here. To get a better idea of the kitchen, we started drawing out with chalk, uh, our kids' sidewalk chalk, because we were out of painter's tape. So you can have an idea where the countertop would end coming up here, and then the other side will uh, probably start a few inches in after the molding from that pocket door. We'll have our cooktop here into the fridge. And the number one question is, what does the island look like? <laughs> and we're not quite sure yet. Uh, so the box is in the one place. And as you can tell, we're using a two by four and some more chalk lines to get an idea of what the island's going to look like. Uh, because we want to make sure there's enough space to push in some chairs and then also have our dining room table here centered on the window and pull those chairs out. Definitely a first world problem, but. So let's move on to our panel. So what's really interesting here to people who are into electric panels is our main is going to come from over by the chicken coop, that green box. They're going to trench that underground. And that's going to come to this wall here. And they're going to fish that main, I guess. It's going to be a sub panel out there, a main panel, and it's going to have the wire's gonna come through here, down below, all the way over, and up. So this is technically a sub-panel. So what does that mean? 
that means that we're generator ready. So if we do want to get a big Generac or some other sort of generator, whole house generator, we're ready to go because that would connect right out here. They would shut off the main line coming into the house and then the generator would power the, just the sub panel. But it also means we're ready to expand if we need to, to maybe a garage, maybe a barn or whatever else we decide in the future. Yeah. Where to next? Oh. Well, we got the plumbing in the bathrooms. Mm. Look at these windows. Oh, we got the porch. Oh, that breeze is amazing. Can't wait to sit out, watch the sunset. So our can lights are in here. Oh, one interesting fun fact I learned. And for those contractors out there, you're going to maybe a common sense, but these big giant yellow beams, the LVLs. I didn't know this, but you're not allowed to even drill a tiny little hole for a wire through. So to give you an example of what that means for this light, our dining room light, they went up through that wall and over to come down. So it's definitely not the path of least resistance, but just to protect the integrity of those beams, you can't drill even a tiny hole unless an engineer signs off on it. Uh, let's go upstairs. So these came in. I got these clips. Um, because I was trying to figure out the best way to mount a cabinet here. And obviously I can screw in to this little bit here and, and, and that's really about it. But what these do, and you can see it says plywood side on here, and then it says upright. So what you do is you cut a piece of plywood to fit this gap, put this on it, put one screw here, and then that whole piece of plywood can push right in nicely. And then you put two screws here, some screws up top, and now you have a solid paneled wall here. So we're gonna put these in a number of places, put some plywood everywhere here, uh, because we're gonna need this to, to screw in some things. Yeah, so this will be upper cabinets in mm -hmm. this space. Yeah, I think according to the plan, we have a 30 inch upper cabinet here. So molding is, let's call it four. So we're gonna go out to 34 inches. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'll be able to screw in on the right hand side a little bit here. Um, and this is actually good for us to refer back to later. I know 17 inches in I can screw in. Uh, but yeah, 17 inches I can screw in. But what I'll do is since I'll have three quarter inch plywood here and you know the cabinet's at least half inch thick, um, you know, maybe inch and a half screws or so that I'll be putting in. That way it will go through, I'll have somewhere secure, multiple screws, and nothing will impact the actual door that's gonna be recessing. All right, uh, let's go upstairs and then we'll show our hot water heater. Someone's getting comfy. Yeah. That's a nice breeze, huh? Mm -hmm. It was a hot one today. It was a hot one. Vinny. Can you stay? I think the electric's all done up here. Nice. One other thing that I guess they've changed recently is the blue is three wire, which I've never seen blue three wire before, um, but I guess that's something new. Let's see. Girls' windows are in. Oh, the breeze feels great. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think we had a breeze like this.
told Melissa, hey, let's go show everyone the water heater in the crawl space. And she's like, ah, no, that's all you. So come on in. It is muddy here. Whoa. So we are in the crawl space. So as you can see, we have a hot water heater in. This is a the Navian. It's a uh, propane or, or natural gas hot water heater, instant. And actually has a recirculation pump, which is pretty cool, which means it's gonna be constantly cycling the, the excess hot through. Um, so when you turn on that hot, it should hopefully be a little easier or quicker to, to get the hot. You're not gonna be waiting that long. We also have here our UV filter and our stage one and stage two water filters. I bought the tiny little ones here for the RV, but um, I mean, we're just gonna get this plumbed in for the time being. We have manganese in our water and I don't want any of that junk going through this brand new hot water heater. So I figured might as well pay a little bit more, have them get that installed. So that way, as soon as they start running everything, um, it's at least gonna be filtered and we shouldn't have to worry about any of that junk going through all of our brand new appliances. But I'll show you the crawl space here a little bit more. I mean, it's dark, right? Isn't it all crawl spaces? Um, you can see our main waste pipe come right through and down and out. So yeah, plumbing is all roughed in. Electric, second floor looks pretty much done. I would say maybe another day, maybe tomorrow, um, they'll finish the, the plumbing. Obviously the windows are in, HVAC's coming ver really soon. So, I mean, got a lot of work done. For those of you wondering about the drone, um, I did buy the warranty, the, hey, I'm an idiot and I crashed it or it flew away warranty. So I just paid the $39 and I'll have to figure out that process. But I am really bummed, totally my fault. I was doing a really wide aerial shot and that tree right there, it got caught in one of the branches and stuck. And as I was walking over to it, all I heard is like, just like that. Yeah, you can quote that one. Um, and yeah, then it's broken. So, well, that's all for this episode. Hopefully by the end of the week, we have our doors in, maybe a roof in, maybe some HVAC. Um, anything else? I could, oh, that's a lot of wishes is, <laughs> for this week. <laughs> and electric done. We're going to be finalizing our cabinets soon and mm -hmm. possibly ordering our appliances. Uh, so everything's just starting to fall into place and we're gonna be in here hopefully sooner than we, sooner than we think. Thank you so much, everyone who has subscribed um, and is following along. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.